Hey guys, today's video I am going to show you how to create custom route file in Laravel 12 application. So by default if I go here and I already installed Laravel uh, application so let me go and just show you php artisan sir okay and now let me go here and if I say just Laravel you can see here login register that's perfectly fine so everything is installed let me go to the vs code editor and go to the routes and you can see that by default they created auth.php console.php and web.php and I can define all the routes over here okay and I have created routes for the admins and for the manager this is working perfectly fine but when you have a like a big application and you won't have a like so many APIs for the admins account and so many API for the manager or maybe you have a multiple roles for example for the users for the like so many roles then it will hard to read all the routes file and like lots of routes uh, defined in the single file so uh, like hard to change so what i'm going to do in this i will create a separate file over here like admin.php and i will define this all the routes over there same thing for the manager i will create manager.php file over here and just create all these routes are there so let me go and first of all i am going to create a new file over here and that's called admin.php okay and then what i will do i will copy the routes namespace and just um, yeah start with the php and import the routes okay then what i'm going to do i will just copy this route okay I'm not to copy this like uh, middleware and prefix and name okay just paste it over here and yeah and I also need to import the admin controller as well so just copy this controller and go here and just paste it okay so that means we created admin.php and just I will remove just hide it for now okay so let's see for the uh, for their understanding okay so now what i need to do just go to the bootstrap and app there is a you can see they already defined like web commands and health so now for define our custom routes file you need to use then okay and then you need to call a function okay and here i'm going to use route okay so you can see route i will use the facade colon colon first of all i will define the middleware okay so right now i have just auth middleware but if you have a like admin middleware then you can also like say just uh, something like that way you can also define multiple middleware as well but right now i have just auth middleware okay and then is the second i am just say prefix and pre prefix was our and is admin okay and then just i will add the name so every route name will automatically add admin dot and then at the end there will be a group and here i am going to just path of that file so base underscore path okay and then you just need to pass routes slash admin dot php okay and at the add the semicolon okay now save it so that means we define our custom file admin dot php and route name will be all admin dot okay so now let me go here we already commented out this one and also let me comment it out this one as well for now okay and let's see and php artisan route colon list okay and you can see over here we don't have any admin routes over here but if i go here just enable so make sure this file is load this route is load or not okay and now if i go and you can see that admin and all the files like all the names because i have just defined name as a dashboard orders and reports but if i go here and you can see over the admin dot dashboard and you can see admin dot orders admin dot reports so you can see that we have successfully uh, defined the file over here okay so same thing i need to define for the manager so let me create a new file and that's called manager dot php okay and same thing i will just copy this and paste it over here but for the manager there is a manager controller so just paste it then you can see over here just copy this all the routes of manager okay and paste it over here okay and save it okay so that means we also define for the manager and let me comment it out for now 
so now what we need to do for the second file so let me go again to the app and just copy the entire route again and i have to paste it over here okay save it and now i will keep the middleware is auth and prefix will be manager okay and name will be manager dot and the file name is manager dot php okay save it okay now let's run again the route colon list command okay and if i go here you can see over here is the manager dashboard manager report manager cells same thing for the admin dashboard and both are working perfectly fine so let me remove now from here so you can see that much clear you can manage your admin and ma like manage the route separately okay save it now let me go here and run the application and let's double check so php artisan sir okay and if i go to the register right now fact filler i'm going to use and click on create account you can see that right now by default is dashboard and let me use ad admin slash dashboard yeah it's doing nothing so let me go here and what i did over here so let me go app and i have just written prefix is admin so let me go and admin slash dashboard maybe there is a problem let me do for manager both are redirect over here i don't know why so let me remove for now middleware just save it and do it uh, now admin slash yeah that's perfectly fine i don't know what is the problem over here is i just forgot one thing is that if you are using the auth middleware you also need to add a web middleware to you allow the session so save it okay something like this way same thing let me go and copy for the manager as well because you can see by default web route is also interacting like session is allowing save it okay now let me go and now let me check with admin slash dashboard you can see over here and same thing if i say manager and you can see i can access both url over here so you can understand how easily we can create the custom route file in laravel application so today's video that's it and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video